What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. I'm Vince Dalmani from VinceDalmaniFitness.com. I hope you enjoyed taking those quizzes the last episode. If uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, at the end of the last video, I mentioned three brand new quizzes I put up on my website to test your own knowledge so you can see how well you're doing at absorbing this information and you can see how you score. So if you think you know a lot about training, nutrition, etc., be sure to uh, head on over to VinceDelmontiFitness.com after this show and see how smart you are. And I also want to let you know if you missed the last two episodes where we are right now. For um, I think I mentioned it, failed to mention it last episode. Right now we are in my basement. This is um, going to be the soon to be Jim Del Monte. Uh, within the next week or so, all the equipment's gonna be arriving. We're gonna be setting up shop here, and this is where we're gonna eventually have uh, Hypertrophy Max boot camps. You guys will be invited to come in to train with me, my uh, great buddy, business partner, Ben Pikowski, IFB Pro Bodybuilder, who just placed 11th at the Mr. Olympia contest this year, his very first Olympia. And um, you guys will be able to actually come and get the full Del Monte and Pikowski experience. Uh, so anyways, more information on that coming, but this is where Jim Del Monte, that's the unofficial name by the way, um, haven't figured out what, <laughs> what it's gonna be yet, but um, that's what we're gonna do down here. So I wanted to mention where we're set up. So let's get to the show. This episode we're gonna be talking about training for muscle hypertrophy and strength. We got uh, eight questions here, we'll bang them out in two separate episodes, we'll knock out four right now. So the first one's coming from Ewat Peters, he says, I'm 18 and I'm working out for about three months now. I can see some changes in my body, but I don't feel like I'm getting stronger. Do I have to be patient or what? So strength is something that does come in a slower amount, especially the longer you've trained. So what I suggest you grasp is a principle called Kaizen. Kaizen is known as constant and never ending improvement. Um, if you haven't watched the wave loading workouts, which is I believe a six part workout series here on YouTube, you can check it out. Uh, it's a full blown workout series, rep sets, exercises, every video is like 20 plus minutes long. It's a full, um, full muscle building workout called the wave loading workout. It's specifically designed on how to get stronger manipulating your load and the reps from set to set. And this is all based around neural disinhibition. Basically, um, making your nervous system more efficient at recruiting more muscle fibers and by basically tricking your mind into getting stronger and stronger. So just to kind of answer your question, you should definitely check out the wave loading workout because that's the best workout to teach you how to get stronger if that's truly your goal because it's a completely different way of uh, manipulating the rep sets and also manipulating the rest period. So be sure to check out the wave loading series if that's something you're serious about. Next question comes from Gustavo. Gustavo says, what are your thoughts on doing push-ups, pull-ups, body weight squats, and planks for someone looking to get fit but not that much muscle? Thanks, Vince. So yeah, body weight exercises. The only problem with body weight exercises is that you adapt to them fairly quickly, specifically, you know, body weight squats and push-ups. That's why you're able to do, you know, 100 to, you know, 200 of these at a time because they're typically aerobic in nature um, as opposed to being anaerobic. So a lot of body weight exercises aren't going to stimulate the type 2A, type 2B muscle fibers, those fast twitch muscle fibers that really contribute to size and growth. Now you mentioned you weren't interested in a lot of muscle, so you know body weight exercises may be perfect for you. Pull-ups, chin-ups on the other hand, could be a great exercise for certain people to build muscle mass because the stimulus on the lats is sufficient from the load the body provides. So it really comes down to what your goal is for general fitness, strength, endurance. I think body weight exercises have a place to finish up a workout when muscle fibers are already fatigued. I think they certainly have a place. So it really depends on when you put them in and how long you do them to uh, determine their effectiveness. Okay, let's take a look at um, Simon. No, 
Oh, so, yeah, Simon Rash. What's up, Simon? He says, um, is it harder to train to gain muscle the older you get? I'm 37 and would like to get some quality muscle on my body. So really, it depends, man. Building muscle can be just as hard for a 22-year-old in his prime with his testosterone levels just gushing um, as opposed to a 37-year-old. So it really depends on how well you're eating, you know, what's your lifestyle like, how consistent you are, how well designed is your program. I can tell you that a lot of the students and hypertrophy max who've been working with uh, Ben and I. We just had one guy in his um, 42 years old and he said he's got better gains on hypertrophy max. He's gained more muscle mass in the past five months than he has in the past 20 years. His email, his words exactly. In the last five months, he's made better gains than he had in the past 20 years. Mainly because we've taught him how to eat, we've taught him how to periodize, we've taught him how to move properly in the gym, we've taught him how to optimize his hormones. He's now in a community with over a thousand guys who've got similar goals, lots of guys over 35. So it really depends on what environment you get yourself in. I, mean, I can tell you right now, if you join Hypermax and you start working with us, you're gonna experience the fastest gains of your life. Okay, let's move on to um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one more from Ray. Hey Ray, uh, Ray said, hey Vince, how many grams of protein should I take during a bulk cycle? I'm a mesomorph type, seminal type at 73 kilos. I'm currently 1.5 pounds of body weight. So he's eating, so one point, okay. Yeah, my rule of thumb is one to 1 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, one minimum. Um, you're gonna have a very hard time building muscle mass with any less, anything less than one gram of protein. And I even recommend bumping it up to 1.5 to bust through plateaus for, you know, maybe for extremely hard training phase phases. But whether you're training three times a week or six times a week, minimum one gram is a great place to start. And then what we use is outcome-based decision-making to determine whether we need more. So, you know, for, uh, for your body type, you may do well more on a, a balanced uh, amount of proteins and carbs and fats, uh, as for an ectomorph could use more carbs and then you'll know, balance out the proteins and fats. So um, I think that where you're at is perfect. Okay, so there we go. Thanks so much, guys. And um, I do want to remind you that if you um, are interested in coming on board Hypertrophy Max, we only open it up twice a year for four days at a time. So the last time we opened it up was in June. We opened it for four days. We had over a thousand guys join. And um, the retention rate, let's just put it this way. In the last six months, less than 15%. I just got this number from my team. Less than 15% of people have dropped off. That's pretty freaking amazing. So um, this is gonna be reopening right before Christmas for four days. Once those four days are gone, we close it up. And we work with those people for six, for the full 12 months. And um, it'll reopen in June 2013 if you can't get on board now. But I highly recommend you grab the free report. I'll put a link below so you can get an idea of what Hypertrophy Max is all about. And um, this is basically our muscle building masterpiece. And uh, this is where it's at. So there's no other muscle building program like this in the world. And if you can find something that's better than this, show me. <laughs> I dare you to find something that's more complete, uh, more comprehensive, more professional, uh, more science-based than this. And um, anyways, I'm pretty, pretty passionate about this and we'd love to work with you, but you need to um, grab the report. You gotta get your email in there. You gotta read all about it and make sure it's right for you because we've turned a lot away. We've turned a lot of people away as well because they just weren't, they weren't right for the program. They weren't serious enough. Uh, they're wishy-washy about their goals. So make sure it's right for you. There's a link there for you to, below and I've rambled enough on the amazing benefits of the program. So. We'll talk to you guys soon. I'm Vince Delmoni. Take care.